C'è sempre un pochino di differenza, vero? Tra... Yes, yes, there is a, there is a, a, a difference, a... yes. You are the profi. <laughs> can, I, can you see us yet? I can't see us. I have a look. Oh, yes, we are on. We are, we are on. on, but as always, I... Yes, we are on. I see us. We are on. Nice. <laughs> okay, hello, everyone. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this um, live on Bridges of Light International. Um, tonight is the, the evening of the interview. We're going to be together one hour with uh, Helen Gallone, and she's going to be telling us everything about herself. <laughs> <laughs> yes. about us. You can tell us as much as you like. And she's going to be talking to us about the art of communication. Before I start, um, I give the word to Helen. I, as always, I want to thank you that you're going to be with us uh, for this hour. Thank you that you're watching this whenever you are. Thank you, Bridges of Light. And thank you, Light. So I'm excited to, to share yeah. with you your knowledge and your experience and your your being with the group. So who is Helen and, 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 and tell us about who you are and, and what brought you to the art of communication? And so I am Helen Gallone. I, am, I come from Austria. Now I am in Austria. I'm in the office of my brother <laughs> and I'm a soft skills trainer it's a word that is, it, it seems difficult, but it isn't as uh, in reality, it's uh, a trainer. I want to train the persons to communicate in a way to understand the other persons, to uh, reach the other persons. And I think that there should be a lot of awareness, awareness who I am, how is my way to speak and then second step, uh, understand who is in front of me. And here I have um, a, a, um, like a kind of a communication method. So to help the person in, in simple steps to, to, to get aware who is in front of me. Because normally we are talking, but uh, maybe we are not, uh, we are, we are not um, seeing the, the person, we are not uh, hearing, <laughs> we don't take the empathic communication, and then maybe we, we use the wrong words. So at the end, <laughs> that's why so many communications uh, ends uh, bad. <laughs> I, I, think. You know, I think I think you, you, the skill that you're talking about it's something that it's it's fundamental. Now, well, mm -hmm. it's always been and always will be. But yeah. nowadays, more than ever. I mean, it, as, as you said, it's, it's, but I'm curious about, I, I, I want to know uh, about communication and how to communicate better. So what, if you can give us tonight some tips about communications. And by the way, I'm, as always, because I'm the one of hello, I want to say hello. To yeah, you. yeah. And, <laughs> and so everybody that you're watching this, if you have any questions, fire on personal questions to Helen or anything mm -hmm. about communication. But let me say hello to Akiara. She says hello. Mm -hmm. Welcome. She say welcome, Helen. Um, well, hello, Valeria. Hello, Mariella. Hello, Jessica. And hello, Valentina, Valeria. Good evening. No questions yet. Oh, hello, Marina. Ciao. Welcome <laughs> home. So what... What, by, by the way, where, where are you now? Do you live, because you live, I, as far as I know, you live in between Italy. I, I, I live in Italy since uh, 25 years, but uh, I also went uh, to Austria as I also work in Austria. I, I make uh, courses, uh, communication courses in Austria, in Italy and in Germany. And uh, yes, I, I, I came to Italy, uh, 25 years ago, as I, I read, uh, I read a, a book, 
Yeah. And in this book was written, you can do everything in your life. You only must be responsible for what you do. So wow. uh, <laughs> I took uh, uh, I, I, I took nothing. I, I came to Italy and um, like a babysitter, I started. Then I worked for um, a travel agency, an Austrian travel agency. Then I worked for uh, international companies uh, um, for the assistant of the direction. And, and then I started uh, to know myself. And at the end, I finished with the question, what, I, what is my mission? What I have to do here on this earth? What, 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 what's, what's my way to make myself and the others alive better? So at the end of this uh, years in, in which I, I learned myself, I decided that I have to start with something totally different. So now I am a trainer, I'm a coach, uh, and uh, my mission is uh, to, let, uh, to, to leave a path in the heart and in the mind of the person and to help the person to communicate in a better way. And, but this, this, all these things, I don't want to make it in a difficult way that you have to study and study. No, I want that the person um, get aware of themselves and then uh, see who is in front of me. That's my... <laughs> it, it, what you say is, is, is actually, it's, I can, I can um, confirm that because I remember you sent me your... Um, your ebook and oh, well, I also participate to one of your seminar uh, mm -hmm. on Zoom. But you sent me a ebook about communication a while ago, yes. and yes, the thing that I liked about it, it was um, as you say, the, the mm, personal is not the right word. Let's say emotional component. The fact that we yes. really have to feel the person, we have to connect yes. with them, we have to yes. understand them, and um, and really, really see what 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 the communication is about. Yes. Which I thought it was it was it was it was very um, in depth and very different from anything else that I have learned or studied oh. about communication. But as you say, it's simple, but it's direct and it's uh, it's effective. Yes, that meant. it's simple, and um, I, I I make a basic of. Um, I don't know if you know NLFP, it's Neuro Linguistic Programming, but I thought this kind of um, communication was very technical and I missed this empathic communication. So I, I wanted to add this one as uh, to communicate, you make courses, how to sell this, how to make this. It's okay, but at the end, I think when you only make a course uh, to study how to sell uh, this uh, clothes, it's, it's not the same. I want to create a kind of communication to use every day with your parents, with your son, um, with, with everybody. So <laughs> I think that's the way. It's not to learn by heart. Oh, yes, now I have to do this or this. No, it's a method to, to get, uh, at the end, you, you use it and you, it's, it's not difficult to use it when you get aware of all this, uh, this uh, details. As at the end, there are some, uh, some little differences, some little things who makes the difference. And uh, so for me, it was very important as I, when I was young, my father told me, one sentence, it was communication. It was not a good communication, as he told me. Well, um, you were with the wrong persons. And so I think that you will not get a successful life. You will not get a successful job and like this. It was this way, his way to communicate. And I told by myself, I told me, well, it a lot of years ago, but um, also now I'm thinking about it. So when we think a teacher that tells you, well, you're not able to draw uh, somebody else who tells you, well, you are not able to make this. You think for your whole life that you're not able. I thought for a lot of 
years, I thought that I have to show my father that I'm able to make this and this. Okay, I get ahead. But at the end, it was not, it was not a, 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 a nice way to communicate. <laughs> so at the end, I thought, well, I think it is very important. And sometimes we are speaking with other persons and we don't um, imagine how we can hurt the other persons with the words. It's, it's not that you have to hurt them like this. You can hurt a person, I think, most <laughs> than in another way. So for me, it's very important to to go in this uh, to go this street and, and to help the persons to to achieve uh, with uh, this communication. Yeah, <laughs> but it is fundamental. Um, but I believe that life is communication. Yeah. It's we're always communicating, aren't we? Always with with our body, with our expression, with our voice. I mean, like we cannot communicate. Even when yes. we don't communicate, we are communicating. Okay. <laughs> Even yes. silent. You, you decide not to communicate, so it's your decision and you communicate. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yes. So to be able to, to, to embody, so to speak, an effective communication, it's, it's, it is fundamental. Yeah. There is a question from yeah. Mariella. She's asking, Helen, I would like to know what is your favorite and best way to communicate? Thank you. For me, the best way is uh, a global way to, I think you should take all the things. It's not only uh, the, the, not only the words and not only the non-verbal um, things. I think it should be a, um, Something like have a look who is in front of you, then hear what he's saying and active listening. Here, maybe I can tell you the five steps of listening that we have. And then, um, okay, have a look, then listening, and then go to the empathic way and try to imagine how is the other person feeling. And then at last step, you can uh, speak and use the words. Also, in the, if you, for example, if you want to know somebody, if you want to know how is this person, you have to take make questions. If you make a, there are two kind of questions: there are the closed questions and the open questions. The closed questions is when you um, uh, ask somebody. Um, do you feel well? And the other person says, yes, no. When you, when you ask the question, how do you feel? How do you, what did you do today? Uh, what is the, your, your favorite uh, way uh, to do this? So the other person is opening and is talking about himself. That's very important. Yes. So are you saying that an open question gives more opportunity the other person yeah. the other yeah. part yes, yes. To communicate yes. yes to communicate and you can you can learn how the other person is thinking as normally i start yes for the communication for Mary mariella i i want to say you there's no um there's not only a way to communicate if you have a global way to see the person, not only, yes, I see her, so I know her. No, you have to take into account also all the other things. So you can really say, well, that's communication. When you see who is in front of me, what is he talking about? Yes. I have to leave him space to be himself and not uh, watching him and thinking, well, I already know this, I already know this. It's not uh, the kind of, uh, of communication. <laughs> so it's, uh, this is important. Wow, you're talking about, you're, you're, to me, you're describing truly what is like empathic communication is. It's really, it's creating a space where yes. the person can totally flourish, so to speak, can totally yes. Yes. be for herself. So I think you should you should pay attention as there's um, a lot, um, most people think, well, I'm empathic. I think I'm empathic, but um, to be empathic is not to say, 
oh, uh, it's a pity that you stay like this, uh, what we should do. It's not the empathic way. The empathic way is not to say, oh, it's not so bad, uh, go away. Or maybe to talk about another thing. This is not an, an empathic way. It's, uh, I think it's a kind of, uh, I don't know, in English, um, it's, uh, how do you say? Oh. I think it's not empathic. So I think the empathic way is telling the other person, well, thank you that you talk me about your problem. In this moment, I don't know what to say to you. It's, it's, it's not worse to, to say this, but to be present and to be there, to have this connection with the other person. But when you are empathic, you have to, you are vulnerable as you have to imagine yourself in a, maybe in a similar situation to get at the same level. It's true. When you are here and you say, well, everything is well, and the other person is here, you can reach them. So you have to go a step down, but if you are, if you can do it, if you can't do it, it's better to be only present and that's enough. But if you can go down and you can take the walk with the other person to go up. Ah, but it's yes. not like this. It's, it's like, um, I don't, how do you say spirale? No, no. It's like this. Like yes. a spiral step. Yes. yes. So yes. You, you, it's not possible to take somebody who is here, upside here. You have to make this, maybe it's a little bit bad. You go in this way with the other person. But I think the, the most important thing is that you, you must not give uh, tips to the person what to do. Right. Just be there, just be present and uh, listening to the other person. That's, that's, that's in, in, most, in, in the most cases, is this the, the real empathic way to, to be with somebody else? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and also, hello, Brady, she says hello to us. And Mariela also. Um, and She's asking, and what do you mean for communication? What I? What do you mean for What I mean? Ah, yes, for me, communication um, is to, to let the other person be the other person yeah. and to um, a, a curious way to get known the other person and a way to uh, talk about myself, yes. to, to be able to talk about myself in an honest way and not make me a mask, yes. but to be myself. That's for me a real communication. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, very organic, I guess. It's like you see the other person, you know the other person, but at yeah. the same time, you unreveal, you you get yourself naked, so to speak. You get yes, as for many years, I, I, was, I was used to use the masks as I have to make uh, to meet this person, so I make this mask and this mask. And at the end, when I was, was, was not uh, going on very well, the other people told me, why? You are the person who is uh, every day uh, positive. Why are you like this? Oh, then I understood. I can be myself, it's no problem. I can cry, it's no problem. I must not be the, 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 the woman who uh, checks everything. I, I also can be the woman who cries. <laughs> so at the end, I, for me, it's the best way like this. <laughs> yeah, I, yes, I, I also feel that the easier, like always, sometimes it's easier said than done, but if we, um, give permission to ourselves to feel how we feel, to be ourselves, regardless to how people can um, perceive us. I mean, at the end, really, it's, it's, I think it's, 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 as you say, it's the, the best way to communicate because yeah. others, they might not like me, they might not like us, but they've seen the real thing. Because as you said, if, if we, if we, if whenever I, we communicate in a way that it's out of fear or judgment, it's not yes. sustainable. It's not sustainable because yes. the people are expecting us to communicate it to be in a way then we can always be because. <laughs> yes, um, I think a lot of people uh, thinks, well, in my job, how I can do this? 
uh, normally in a job, yes, you have situations where you can't be um, 100% yourself. It's like this, okay? But um, you must not lie to yourself. And when you uh, get aware about other people, you understood them, you understand them better. Uh, the director of the um, company I worked, I, I didn't get, um, he was not very sympathetic. Then I worked with the communication, I worked about myself and I, I understood, well, maybe something bad is happened to you and he's now like this. So for me, the communication was not like this. Well, uh, I only have to uh, um, think that he's a, a, a bad person. It's not like this. He ha had this his way, his life, and the life took him to this. So I think my, my communication was changing, so also he was changing. And here is one important point. There, there are some uh, principles of communication, and one is the responsibility. So you have to know, at, at, at the beginning when I, I got known this, I thought, well, it's, it's, not so, um, it's not so easy, but it's like this you have the responsibility. So when you talk with a person and the other person do not understand you, it's you. It's you to reformulate. It's you to make everything that the other person can understand. What we do normally, what I did, what I sometimes do is, well, this person does not understand me. I can do nothing. So, <laughs> so <laughs> at the end, it's it's easy like this <laughs> to say it like this. No responsibility. Ah, yeah. Like... <laughs> so when you have when you check this, you understand that that it's you. That it's you. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> Let's see other question or comments. Hello, Cinzia. Oh, hello, Isla. Great seeing you here. Uh, hello, Julia. Hello, Rosanna. Hello, Nadia. And Marina, she's writing presence when communicating without ego seems the best way yes yes yeah. yes it's 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 really the best way and when you get uh, the way communicating in this way um, um i think it's 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 amazing when the other persons come to you as they say, well, um, it's so nice to talk with you. It's so interesting. Uh, we don't talk about uh, the other persons. We talk about things that for us, uh, that for us are important. And uh, so I learned also to, to talk about the present, to, 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 to make a communication in the present things that you do and not stay at the, at the past or at the future. So I think also this one is a, is a communication uh, in, this, in this way you can, uh, you can really get uh, a good communication. Absolutely. But at the end, yes, you have to make these steps to, to, to go to this. Uh, so uh, when you want, we can, we can make the steps. So maybe uh, somebody has some question to, 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 to the steps as it is really simple. I, I want you to make it simple to, to get it known uh, to everybody. Ah, what step? Are you gonna tell us about the steps later? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just want to comment on something. You made me realize of something that is well. Thank you, Marina, for that question and that comment. And you, what you said actually made me think. It's making me think about the fact that absolutely you're right. Sometimes, very often, um, we speak. Uh, about things that are not in the present. We are not really used to commenting, let's say, oh, how beautiful this food is, um, or how oh, look at this or that. Yeah, normally the mind is talking about the communications about what happened yesterday or about somebody else or the future plans we're going to do and whatever else. But the presence is like, poof. But I know people, I mean, it's really, it makes me smile and laugh, but really, I know people that if you brought them here and now and say, look at this, look how beautiful this is. They would just look at you and they would think, 
what? What are you wasting time about? Does it make yeah. sense? It's yeah. all about evaluating what it was, comparing what it was, yeah. or, 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 or programming and, 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 um, and talking about the future. Yeah. It just doesn't exist. Yeah. 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 When we do that, yeah, it's all ego, ego, ego. Image, image, image. Yes, yes. Yes, that's right. Then uh, um, we are maybe we were used like used like this. I also was used like this. But when I started to be thankful for the things that I have every day, so for me also also the little things I I think. So I normally make a lot of photos. I have. 1,000 photos, I think, oh, nice flower, make it flower. Ah, okay. <laughs> and like this, as I think that the sun, um, how you say it, uh, the sundowns or the rising of the sun were there yes. years and years ago. For me, since five years, oh, I see all the spectacular sundowns. Oh, <laughs> and really? the oh, the as I, I, I learned to, to see the, the things uh, of the present. It, that, this not means that I don't talk about, uh, but I, I'm, I, I'm paying attention which words I use and I'm paying attention uh, to to not to, um, I, how to say, ferire le altre persone, not to, uh, to offend, not to yeah, offend, not to offend the other persons. Yes. 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 Thank you. Yeah, and I personally think that to mention somebody that is not present, unless it's a compliment, but even then, do it on face. It's it's a waste of space. Total waste of space. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway, hello Natasha, hello Anna, hello Antonietta, hello Nico. Stop, Luca, because I could spend the evening just saying hello to people. <laughs> Mariella now is writing. So, if I write, understand, if I understand rightly, you pay attention to empathy and feel it, and feel it that person moves positive sensation in you. And that I guess means you feel positive sensation news. After you can open yourself to a new friendship eventually. Uh, yes, uh, I think um, here I'm, I'm a little bit Austrian. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about Austrian. <laughs> Austrians, Austrians um, if, we, if I have a friendship, uh, if I start a friendship, for me it's. Um, a very important thing for me um, I make a difference from friends and persons who know, uh, who I, I get known in, in some circumstance but um, um, I think the real friendship can be when both open the spot it's wow. not that only one person is saying well um, it should be nice to have a friendship with you and the other person, then the other person is not ready. I don't say it like this, that he doesn't, he, he, she, he or she doesn't want. It's okay when you can uh, say, well, uh, it's not the moment. Yes. So uh, it's not nice <laughs> like this, as you maybe want to stay nearby this person. And then at the end, the other person, um, you feel it. You feel yeah. it that the other person. So it's it's like it's like this. You go ahead and you go back, and you think, well, uh, I I feel it this empathy with the other person, but the other person um, doesn't maybe react or, or speak with this empathy. So you just, I think, you just uh, have to give time. You must not run to say, well, okay, um, let's, this, this friendship is, is not okay. No, I think you have to do something for a friendship and you have to do uh, uh, in this way. But normally in the, in the first way, I have here in Austria, now I'm in, in Austria, I, I met my, my girlfriends uh, that I know since uh, the school time. And I lived in Italy and all the things, but when I come back, I call them, we meet, 
the only five minutes and we speak as we spoke uh, 25 years ago and this this feeling this feeling is real friendship for me then when the other person doesn't expect something and when you do not expect something from the other person this is uh, this is friendship for me yes yes when you haven't seen each other for like years and and in an instant it's like yeah. you saw each other five minutes ago yes. time is in the past yes, yes. And it's connected it's, yes yes and would you say this is a personal question while you were talking i was thinking would you say that it's also um a demonstration so to speak of empathy when like you said for example we are keen on the other person we would like to be friend with the other person but we can feel that the other person is not ready or is not opening up or mm -hmm. is not interested in the moment would you say that that's also empathy to be able to respect that to feel yes. yes. not push it, like you said just okay Yes, I think this is, is part of empathy, that you can leave the other person as the person is. You can, there's, there's some kind of empathy, it's called, um, um, in English, cognitive empathy. So this means, I, I, I explain it. So this means, um, for example, on the floor you have uh, the number nine. So. From my side, I see the number nine. You stay in front of me and you, you don't see nine, you see six. Yes. So yeah. what can I do? I can, I can tell you, well, this is nine and you tell this is six. Yeah. But this way of empathy means I can um, accept you. I can accept your opinion. I can accept that you see a six and I see a nine and I must not um, have um, I, I must not uh, tell you that my opinion is the right opinion I can let you as you are and with, with this number you can you can see well you have another vision of the world of the number as me and is this and your when you have yes when you have this example you see uh, well I um, in I make it now with a number, this example, but in, in a lot of patients, yes. Thank you. This it, is a way of, of empathy. It gives, yeah, it's two different kinds of messages. It yes. Different perspective. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Hello, Patty. Patty. Hello, Marco. Ciao. Hello, Tina. Natasha says, good evening. I think to communicate well, we have to talk with the language of the other person. As you make with us, you always try to meet our comprehension. Yes, uh, it's okay. I think um, the language of the other person is, is not so difficult to understand as normally I go with my way uh, to approach this is um, uh, the sensual channels that every person has. So when a person speaks, there are persons who speaks in a vis visual way. What did me this means? It means that he speaks about the pictures. There's another person who speaks about what he heard. And there's another person who speaks about the feelings. So we can make an, an, ex, an example to uh, explain it well. So when you so close your eyes and you think about your last holidays you had. Yeah. And then at the end, um, what, what, what's your, um, what do you remember? I say, what do you remember? I don't say what you see, what you hear. I say, what do you remember? So you can have three different kinds of person. Yeah. One person remembers, oh, there was a fantastic view to the sea. Uh, it was fabulous. The sun down with all the colors, I liked it. And there's another person who tells you, well, I hear the waves of the sea. It was fantastic. Yes. Then in the evening, when I went out with my, girl, with my boyfriend, girlfriend, 
oh, there was a fantastic music in the bar where we went and we danced the whole evening. So, and then there's the third one, the, 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 it's, it's called a kinesthetic one. Yes, kinesthetic. So, kinesthetic one. This one is uh, the one who remembers the feelings. He says, well, I feel so well, it was amazing. He, he don't go into details for what he's seeing, what he's hearing. He's talking about the emotions. This is one way where you, when, when you talk with somebody and you ask, how, how were your holidays? So the other person is telling you how he lived the holidays and you can, for example, he told, well, I see this, it was nice, this. So we also talk now about uh, the words, but a visual person, for example, you also can recognize them with the eye movie movement. You can recognize them with the gesture, with the mimic, with with all these things, but attention, you must not categorize them and say, well, you're a visual person, you are like this. No, this person can be a visual person in a certain circumstance, and in another can be an auditive person. So at the end, what you learn, you learn to be, to take attention, to be, uh, to have a look, a real look to the person and not to make them into categories, this one, this one, this one. It's easy to tell you, well, you are visual, so I treat you like this. No, you have to pay very attention who is in front of you. So this is only one example. For example, so the, the visual persons use words about imagines. Yes. The visual persons, when they speak, they, um, they, um, they speak louder and they uh, breathe high. When you talk with a kinesthetic person, has a lower voice and he breathes with a stomach. All right. Yeah. And when you have a, a person, uh, for example, an auditive person, the auditive person don't look you in the eyes. Maybe he makes like this and looks in the other direction. Sometimes you say, well, I talk with you, you're not looking me. No, he's not looking you. As he is, he, he, he likes to title the head like this. As for him, it's easier to hear you in this way. Okay. For example. Yes. So, and then there are this eye movement, like uh, like in, in the film uh, Lie to Us. I don't know if you know this uh, fiction. So if, if, if I look in your eyes, I saw if you I know if you tell me a lie, you know, it's OK. It's a fantastic film. But in all this, there's some reality uh, inside. As, for example, um, an auditive person is looking right up, uh, upright or up left. Yes, like this. It's a, a visual person. Yes, an auditive person is have the look like this, he, but a kinesthetic person is looking down. So you can make tests in which we make uh, at the courses, for example, we make the questions. You yes. have a partner in front of you. You you start with a normal question, so you make a special um, like a calibration of the eyes and then at the end uh, you make different questions and you see that the eyes go or uh, maybe um, upside or normally when you want to remember something yes. you go on um, the left side but normally you are not um, you don't know what your eyes are making. No, so. you're not. <laughs> yes. But I think this um, this technique with the eyes, um, the techniques, um, yes, uh, sophistic techniques. But I think to start to look at a person and to hear what he's saying, that, for example. I don't know uh, if you have time. Oh no, I don't know if I have it here. Normally we make, um, I, I will explain it like this. Normally we make a discussion with a man and a woman who are talking about, no? The, the, the woman is a visual woman and the man is an auditive man. 
And when the, when the woman said, well, darling, um, I don't know, everything is okay because you're not looking at me. She wants that he looks at, at her and he tells, well, honey, there's no problem. I hear you. So she's here and the other person is here. And right. if they are only speak like this, okay. But if they are discussing, if the, the person who's the visual person says, well, you don't see this problem. You don't, uh, why don't you make it? Uh, why don't you uh, see a solution, for example? And the auditive person says, I don't understand you. Uh, why can, can't you hear my words? Why don't you listen at what I say to you, for example? I think it's happening, maybe in some... Uh, uh, yeah, it happens all, now that, that you said it, it happens all the time. People, yes, some people yeah. say, yeah. Can you, can't you see it? Make yeah. it clear? And somebody else might say, yes. Yeah. Can, can you hear my point? Can yeah. you... I hear you. Yeah, I am. Yes. And here, the way to 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 find the level that they can communicate, it's not that I have to annulate myself. I'm not myself as a no. It's about what I want. I yeah. want to communicate with the other person. I want to understand him. So maybe <laughs> I can use his way to communicate. To communicate what what's happening so maybe i can use the words of the other person yes maybe i can use the gesture this will not uh, you have to pay attention to not copy the other the other person otherwise the other person says stop this why you're copying me <laughs> yes. you have to you have to do it in a light way not in <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mirroring. Yeah. Mirroring, they say it's it's yeah. Yeah. quite um it's quite uh taught quite often in, in yeah. NLP. But yes, it could it is it it would be funny, wouldn't it? If you actually if like now I was going like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would get like you this. Would get <laughs> <laughs> and then one of us would be starting going like this. Mm -hmm. See if the other one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like this. As this is the way, as you, for example, as the neurolinguistic programming, you learn these things. Yes. So the persons who learn this and study this and think, well, I only have to do this and everything is okay. No, it's not like this. You have to, you have to make the global person. You have to take your heart. You have to uh, have a look at the whole thing and not only on this one. But it is useful to know which kind of channel I use in certain circumstances and how I can get this rapport, this uh, kind of relationship with the other person. And this one you can make at work and you also can make it uh, with family it's no it's no different yes no different. well I, I i don't think it's a coincidence that you called it the art of communication yeah 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 it is an art yeah yeah as i don't want to to call it a technique yeah. a technique if somebody says well uh, i only have to be clever and make one, two, and so it's going on. No, no, it's it's an art. <laughs> yeah, and before you master the art, you have to really, yeah, you might learn the different modalities and techniques, but then you have to master them and then you have to put them together and then maybe. <laughs> yes, it's true. And at the end, you have to take into account when you have uh, great emotions, you, maybe it's, more difficult to check all these things yeah. so this is a challenge <laughs> to 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 make a good communication also when you're very very angry <laughs> for example no? I, yeah i think to do that you really have to have mastered all the, the the art of communication because when we have a strong emotion take it taking over us oh mm -hmm. i mean i guess you just, i mean to 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 not lose control is Yes, it's controlled, but I think it helps very good when you accept this emotion, when you say, well, now I'm angry. Okay, it's okay that I'm angry at it now, but 
normally we say, ah, I'm angry, wow. And we go uh, with another person who, who, who is not, 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 no matter with my things of my, uh, my way to be angry, you know. But uh, yes, uh, this helps me to say, well, okay, I'm angry. It's, I also can go in a room and make a shout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I learned uh, must not be treated uh, in a in a in a strange way uh, only because I am angry. Yeah, yeah. And others shouldn't be suffering because of it. Like yeah. uh, Marina, she's right. Hello, Lorena. Marina is writing. I love your plants, Helen. Ah, yeah. Marina loves I your plants. Like this. This is the office of my of my brother. So here you can see the table with the computer. <laughs> he, he grows plants and flowers. <laughs> and very well. I, I also made a, a, a trip with him with the truck <laughs> in these days. <laughs> with the plants. Yes. <laughs> the plant. Mariella says, well, she wrote it a while ago. We were talking. You must have said something about a question. You say, thanks, Helen. I agree, absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. And Marina writes as well, personality tests. Interesting. Uh, probably when you were talking about uh, the, the yes. somebody is talking with his auditory kinesthetic or visual. Not only this one. I think that a lot of tests uh, the personality tests, they are also, I, I make, for example, in the courses, I make a special test, a little test in this, in which the persons get aware about um, observing and evaluation, observation, evaluation, the one that, that you made also, that, that you get aware about the sentences or, the, the, or what somebody says in a day, and you get aware, is this an observation or is this an evaluation? Yes. And to get aware about all these things. So I think, yes, there are some tests, uh, specific tests. And I also, for example, make a test, how empathic are you? So you can uh, check it, <laughs> it's okay. But uh, there are a lot of things. Uh, and I think um, uh, each time you make this, it's uh, it's it's great as you have another piece of yourself as well. Okay, when you say okay, I'm like this. It's okay like this. How I'm actually? Maybe you want to get better or something else. It's it's okay. As normally I say, well, we talk about soft skills. Uh, so normally you say, well, soft skills. What are these things? No, like this. But at the end. These are all ability that you have inside you. So everybody has inside these abilities. What you have to do, you have to train them. You have to uh, see them. Normally, for example, men say, I'm not empathic. It's not my thing. Yes, it's because normally maybe you grow in a family where a, an empathic man is not seen very well so it's it's not true that you're not empathic you can learn it you can understand yourself and at the end you can be an empathic person as normally for empathic you see you say well it's the person who is uh, uh, kind to everything the person who is uh, um, i don't know to say the person who is uh, not um, who don't knows what she wants like this unfortunately empathy has this uh, uh, explanation <laughs> But empathy is, uh, is another thing. So I think uh, everybody can be empathic. And I like this uh, metaphor that every, every person has a, a diamond inside. And this diamond you have to make shine. I but you have, to, you have to clean it. Yes. Now it's inside, but I have to clean it. And with, with courses or with 
books or with sessions. There are a lot of things that you have, you can, you can make this uh, diamond shine. As I, I think for everything you need, you have inside. That's, that, this is my, my way to think about it. I totally agree. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Once we have washed, cleaned and polished the diamond. Yeah. We, yes. Thank you. So would you say that um, to learn how to communicate effectively, would you say that it's, it's like an, an innate ability that we all have and we have to discover or, or, or is something that we actually learn? I think, I think you should uh, discover it as um, you, maybe you already used some soft skills, but you don't remember them. So I say, discover them. Right. Uh, for example, I don't know, the creativity. If, you, if we talk about creativity, a lot of people say, I'm not a creative person. But at the end, as we talked before, only because one teacher told me I'm not able to uh, paint. This is not true. I, before I start to work with my soft skill, I have to work with the convention. How do you say? Convinzione? To the, to the belief. To the beliefs. Yes. As normally, there are a lot of beliefs. You believe that you can't do this. You believe that you don't have this soft skill. So work about the beliefs. Normally, the beliefs helps you as they protect you. They protect you. You can make a check. There's a, a, a kind of check that you can make in, in which you make four questions in, and, and you say to you, well, what is changing when I go ahead as I go ahead um, when I'm not changing everything? What is what is changing when 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 I when I change? So I have four types of questions to um, discover why do you have this belief? Normally, you have in the past the parents, uh, the grandpas like this. In one day, without thinking, talked about something, and you took this belief. So at the end. Maybe now you do say, well, soft skills, I don't know them, I don't have them. Yes. Maybe in the past somebody told, well, when you have the words which you don't understand, it's better to say that you don't have them, for example. <laughs> or, I only make an example, no? But uh, I think uh, work, working about the beliefs and then um, discover them. I would say discover the, the soft skills. So the soft skills, when we say, what are the soft skills? The soft skills, I, I think I have my, my, you have to know that there's the World Economic Forum and uh, the World Economic Forum made a report, future of jobs. In this report, future of, of jobs, they made 10 soft skills, which are most uh, required in this year. Ah, which are? Which are? which are number one, the complex problem thinking. Problem thinking, everybody has problems, big problems, little problems. So, yeah. but at the end, this, normally at, at the courses we go in detail, so we, you get a, a, a kind of a, a solution <laughs> to get out to, to check the problems with which steps you should take to get out of, of, of complex problems. So when we start talking about soft skills, they're not so um, away. They're not uh, so abstract. that you don't need. <laughs> yes. So they're, you mean they're, they're pragmatical skills, they're yeah. practical skills, yeah. not yeah. just theoretical. Yeah, As like this. Boy, then we have the critical thinking, Yes. The creativity, the people management, the coordinating with others, emotional intelligence, huge and decision making, service orientation, negotiation, and flexibility. So, these are the 10 
top soft skills most required, not only in the business level, also in, in the normal life, in the family, as in the family. If, if we take flexibility, you have to make it every day. When your son is calling, uh, my bike uh, is, is not, it's gone. Somebody stole my bike. Uh, you have to be flexible to go there to pick him up. So it's, it's flexibility, this one. <laughs> So yes. I think the, at the end, um, I, I think it's, it's, it's very interesting to, to, to get aware of all these things that we use every day. And there are some uh, kind of uh, instructions how you can get a level uh, you, um, higher to, to improve more about all these soft skills. Yes, yeah. yes. I'm thinking now, when you were talking about that, um, that sometimes we see people, or, or even ourselves, in different content, content, contexts, in yeah. different situations, we communicate differently sometimes. Don't you yeah. think? Like sometimes yeah. we are really good at communicating, and some of the times we are not. But it's yeah. still us. Yeah, I think at, in, in these cases, it's about uh, the empathic way you have with the feeling, the vibration vibration you have with the other person. The person that you meet can also be a, a, a person on the job, but you have this feeling that you can communicate in a certain way. Maybe it's another person with the same uh, job, and you say, well, I'm not able to talk with him. Yes, yes, yeah, it really varies. So <laughs> here you have the flexi flexibility, which we talked about. When you have the flexibility to see the person you have in front of you, it's you, maybe you 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 are able to to communicate in a better way. Yeah, you're right. When we are able to observe we then are able to, to know what to do, to yeah. clean myself. Yes, yes. Uh, let me see where somebody wrote something else. Hello, uh, Sabrina. Hello, Marita. Ciao. Um, Mariela is writing, in the family, we must find compromising to live better. Yes. We must compromise. <laughs> Compromises, and if you want to invite the other persons to compromise, to find a compromise you can use this way of of communication that, that that you see the person that you hear the person that you feel the person and then you go maybe you use the words who uses the other person when you make the steps i think you can get a a, a good uh, basic to find the compromises as I think to find compromises, two people can uh, must be on a, on a certain level. Otherwise, what it is, you say, well, we find a compromise, and the other person says, well, yes, as I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I don't want to hear you anymore. Let's find this compromise. Okay, you find a compromise, but at the end, it's not a a a, a compromise a real compromise. <laughs> it's about that somebody told you what you have to do, <laughs> but it's, it's, he called it compromise, but at the end you are sad. It's not like this. Oh, a real one. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Well, um, I'm aware of time. We have, how long do we have? We have one minute. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, it's not, can you believe it? It's just one bite. No, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I, want, I, I wanted just to, to, to tell you a lot of other things, but uh, yes, well. <laughs> we left to do I, we I to want to. I want to say thank you to all the persons who are interested and uh, it's it's very I, I like it when the persons are interested in what I'm doing as I, I'm believing 100% in what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I can see that, but thank yeah. you so much. But I like this. I, I actually love when people, when somebody asks something and you, you know, you gave your answer to what they were 
Yeah, too. yeah. So, thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you. Martin, for being here. And, uh, well, we're going to see each other in two weeks' time for another interview. I can't remember who it is. But <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Helen, for being okay. with us. Bye. Thank you to everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.